Welcome back to Kara's Cakes. This week I have a wedding order that has a small cake and 11 dozen cupcakes. If you'd like to see how I go about making these cakes and cupcakes during my regular work week, keep watching. Hey there, so it's 6.30 a.m. on Monday. Um, I'm going to take you guys with me this week and show you how I go to work full time and do cakes on the side. I'm just gonna show you what I do on my lunch hour and um, what I do through the week to prepare for the weekend of cakes. So last night was Sunday and I made a list of everything I needed at the grocery store. Um, I had most of the ingredients um, this week, but I have a little list and some point this week at lunchtime or after work, I'll run to the grocery store and I'll show you guys what I do along the way. All right, so I am now at the grocery store. It's my lunch break. I have a few things to grab. Um, I usually just put it in a bag and leave it in the fridge at work so I don't have to do it on my way home. It saves me a couple minutes, so I'm gonna run in and get those things. Alright, so I'm back in the car. I got my groceries for the cake stuff and I just have to run back to work. I'm home from work for the night. Um, all I have to do tonight is build the cupcake boxes and the cake box for all of my orders due the weekend. I normally build them ahead of time to save me time at the end of the week. Um, I usually just stack them up on one of my kitchen chairs and have them ready to go. So I will go do that now. If you're looking for boxes similar to these ones, I get them at Bulk Barn or online from Amazon and I'll try to leave that link down below for you. It is Tuesday evening. Um, I worked all day and I'm just going to do some stuff around the house and then get ready. Then I will measure out all the dry ingredients for my red velvet cake. Um, I think I worked out I have to do five batches. so. I'll, do those in all separate bowls and then when I actually go to bake it later in the week it'll save me a lot of time. So I always start out by getting all of my ingredients out on the counter first and then I start measuring. So in this video clip you'll see me measuring out two separate batches but they're actually two double batches of red velvet cake. And when I'm all finished I wrap everything up with saran wrap and put it to the side of the counter and then I have all of my dry ingredients ready for tomorrow. Hey there, it's Thursday night. I didn't get any baking um, done last night. I have to make a cake and 11 dozen cupcakes, so whatever I don't get done tonight, I will get done tomorrow night after work. Um, so just keep watching and you can see what I get done tonight. I start off by lining my cupcake pans and I have three big cupcake pans that do two dozen cupcakes each. Once I get that out of the way, I have two different mixers here you'll see because when I make red velvet, I use my smaller mixer to whip up the egg whites. You'll see here that I'm opening a little um, gel food color by Wilton and this is the red no taste color. I find that this gel food coloring works best because if you use regular food coloring your cake or whatever you're making may taste bad and it may change the consistency where the gel doesn't change the consistency. Here I'm using an ice cream scoop to put the batter into the cupcake tins. Um, if you want to see another video of all the tools that I use when I'm baking cakes, I will link that above in the cards and down below in the description box as well. Once the oven's preheated, I pop the cupcakes in there and set the timer. While these are baking, I usually clean up and do the dishes. So I use a Lysol wipe or some sort of disinfectant to wipe everything down so I'm ready to bake for the next day and I do the dishes and that usually consists of me shoving as much in the dishwasher as I possibly can 
and only um, hand washing the things that I really need to hand wash. So the cupcakes are out of the oven and I usually leave them cool in the tins for a little bit before taking them out. If you're not going to be using your cupcakes right away, I can link my video down below on how to freeze and store cupcakes. Hey there, today is Friday. I am home for the night to finish baking and decorating my order for tomorrow. Um, I didn't get as much done last night as I wanted. I got five and a half dozen cupcakes made, so I need the rest of the 11 dozen and a small cake, and then I'll be decorating those. Um, I'm just cooking supper, and then I have to run to the grocery store really quick. I forgot I needed more butter and whipping cream for the buttercream. And then I will show you what I do. So what you don't see here is me making more red velvet cupcakes and a cake because you already saw that process in my last clip. But right here I am whipping up some softened butter to make all of the buttercream. I ended up doing three triple batches of buttercream. Um, I whip up the butter until it's white in color and then I add in the whipping cream and vanilla. After that I add in the icing sugar a little bit at a time and I put the cloth over top so the icing sugar doesn't blow around. So once the buttercream is all finished mixing, I scrape down the sides, mix it one more time through, and then um, I use a wooden spoon to get some of the air bubbles out. And here you'll see I'm cutting the tops off of the red velvet cakes, just so they're more level. And then I get to stacking the cakes. You'll see I add a thin layer of buttercream around as a crumb coat. This just locks all of the crumbs or any of the crumbs that there are on the outside so you don't have the red velvet um, flakes through the whole cake. So I pop this in the fridge for about five minutes and then once it hardens up a little bit I add another layer of buttercream on top of that. So I'm not making the sides of this cake very smooth it's more of a rustic look and you'll see that towards the end that it's, I'm not completely smoothing it out. I'm using a palette knife to make it look more rustic on the sides. Now that the cake is all finished and in the fridge, I get to the cupcakes. I have them all laid out here and I have some more in behind there and I'm just getting the buttercream on there, doing a little bit of a rosette. If you'd be interested in seeing all the piping tips that I use for my buttercream and how I use them, um, just leave a comment down below and I can be sure to make that video. Hey guys. It is after 11 at night. I am so tired. <laughs> I am decorating the cupcakes and I don't have enough buttercream for that many cupcakes. So I have to make another little batch of buttercream and finish those off and then go to bed, hopefully. So here's a bunch. There's some more. So I better get at it so I can maybe get to bed before midnight. <laughs> Once the cupcakes are finished, I put them all in their boxes that I already have made up and then I get the cake box out for the cake. So with the cake, I usually box it up um, by making it more square and I use saran wrap to cover the top and I always add a business card to the top because it's going to be left under the table at the wedding venue. It is Saturday morning. As you can see from the clip I just played, um, I decorated the cake. Um, they just wanted something very simple and then some pine cones and stuff on top. So I got the pine cones and the berries 
and the tree at um, a local flower shop. Now I have to cut up little pieces of this and put a little tiny bit on each cupcake. So once I have the car all packed up, I drive to my destination to set up for the wedding. So here you'll see my table all laid out with all the cupcakes and then the cake. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this week in my life video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos.